subscribe the channel for tech related updates and press the bell icon for instant notifications. Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about a very, very simple trick that can help you to remove the background of your image in few clicks. My name is Rakesh and you're watching Tech Today. Yes, for this trick to remove the background of your image, you don't need to buy any fancy softwares for your mobile or for your laptop. Let's quickly get into the video and see how can we really do it in a very, very simple and effective manner. All right. For this video, I have put few pictures on presentation slides. Let me open this PowerPoint presentation. Here it is. I have put few portraits and few logos of the companies. Okay, to remove the background from any image, what all do we need to do? So to remove background of any image, just click on the image first and select the crop tool and with the help of crop tool, crop your image so that you know how much area you want in your image. Now you crop your image according to your requirement. And now once you are done, the most important step, click on the image again and select remove background option. Once you will do that, these options will get enabled and automatically the background of your image will turn into pink color. Now you need to select which portion of your image you want to keep and which portion do you want to delete. The first step to do this is use these dots and bring in the image inside this frame. You can also save these images as PNG where you will not have the background and then you can use these images later in any of your project. I'll show you how you can save these images as PNG later in the video. 90% of your work is done by just doing this. You can see the edges of this image very very clear and no overlapping of the background. Once you are sure that your image is in the frame and it's selected properly, go to this option and say keep changes and boom. The background has been erased within few clicks. Isn't it simple? All right, let's do it on a couple of more images. Then we'll take a complex one. We will select the image, select the remove background option, Correct the framing, verify the edges and select keep changes and you are done. Let's take one more case of simple scenario and then we'll take one complicated scenario. So again the same process we need to repeat. Click on the image, go to remove background, frame your image properly and here we have got slight complication. You can see this particular area has not got selected automatically. To do that. In this case, we'll have to select mark areas to remove. Once we do that, we need to mark those areas which we want to remove from the background. Once you select that option, you will get one pen type tool which you will use to mark the area. You'll have to put this mark in the area which you want to remove from the background. And once you are satisfied with the edges of your picture, click on keep changes. And that's it. Don't skip watch this video because there will be steps in the complicated scenarios. Okay, this is slightly more complicated case. You can see the cluttered background behind the portrait. The process is same. Go to the remove background, frame the picture properly. Here when we have framed the picture properly, we are seeing few parts of the background are visible which we don't want in the picture and few parts of the portrait are not visible which we want to be part of the image. Let's see how do we correct it. Let's remove the part which we don't want in the image right now. Select the mark areas to remove option and create marks in the area which we want to remove. Once you are satisfied with that, then select mark areas to keep option. Once you have selected that tool, you'll have to create those marks on the portion which you want to include to the image. You can see that on the screen now and in that process there would be scenarios when the portion of the background will also get added automatically but that can be corrected later with the help of mark areas to remove option don't worry about that once you are satisfied with your selection go back to mark areas to remove option and now mark those areas which you want to remove from the image keep marking until you are satisfied about it and once you are, just click on the keep changes and see if your image is fine. 
I can see one spot here which needs to be corrected. To do that, again go to remove background option and select mark areas to keep and start making marks in the area which you think is not perfect. And once you think it is okay, click on keep changes. That's it. So this is how you can remove the background from your images. I'll just take a couple of examples of the company logos. If you want to download it from the internet and you want to remove the background, you can do that also in few clicks. So you can see there's a sheet of logos. We will select this Nike logo. Repeat the process which we have just learnt. Let's crop the image first for the Nike logo. Click on remove background option. Frame your picture. And if you are satisfied, click on keep changes. That's it. Let's copy this logo and take it to another slide where we can see whether the background has really got removed or not yet. You can see the Snapdragon logo behind the Nike logo, which says we have removed the background of it. Let's attempt the same thing with the Snapdragon logo. With the help of mark areas to keep option, you can select the word Snapdragon. Once you are done, click on keep changes. And that's it. We will cover one more logo and then I'll tell you how to save these images in a form of PNG or we can also call them backgroundless images. So let's select this first logo which is Pizza Hut and repeat the process. Once it is done, if you want to save these images as a PNG, you just need to click on the image first, select save image as and save it at your desired location. Similarly, we can save our portrait images without background. And you can see that here are our images. You can do this exact stuff in Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel as well. I'll just show you how can you do it in Microsoft Word. Let's copy this logo sheet and paste it in this Word. Click on the image. And here also you'll get remove background option. Select that. Repeat the process. Frame your image. Select the areas you want to keep. Deselect the areas you want to remove. And click on keep changes. I'll show you how to use these PNG images which we just saved. So just open the image. Copy it, take it to your project and paste with this first option. Don't select the second option otherwise you will get a black background in your images. Similarly you can paste the image in the word file also. That's it. Wasn't it very simple? I hope now you can use this trick in your projects. So that's it for this video. I hope this trick will going to help you in a long run and you would have liked this video. If you have really did, I would request you to like this video, share with your friends and if you were the first time around this channel, consider subscribing it. Thanks for watching Tech Today.